What do you think? Do you want to start writing again or? Sure. <laughs> sure? Did it make you want to ride more or like you're just like whatever? Did what? Did taking a break from riding make you want to ride more? Back here at Moto Sandbox for the first time since last time we were here. So it's been, I don't know, like seven months. Last time we were here, Lillian broke her collarbone, but this is her favorite place to ride. This is where she wanted to come back. And that's, dude, if you get hurt, you just gotta get back out there nine months later or whatever it's been and then try it again. So she's back at the same place. They changed it a lot. This uh, section right here used to be a double double or step up, step up. And they were kind of identical. The first step up and the second step up were pretty much the same takeoff uh, and distance. This time is totally different. The first one now is a lot tamer. It's a lot more mellow, but it's further. And the second one is more of a booter, but I think the kids are okay. They're going to try it anyways. took a little bit of a tumble. Uh, let's just say he scrubbed it a little too hard that time. You hit anything? You okay? Yeah, sir. I'm not proud of myself. Okay. What happened? Uh, he's good. Good job, guys. Good. That was nice. Yeah, that was smooth. I went that back around the pool. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it sketchy? A little bit? Yeah. He says two more, now he's on like the fifth. Oh, stretching it out. Dude, what more could I ask for? In Florida, beautiful weather, world-class facility, and the kids are pushing themselves and trying to send it. It's a good day. Nice. Uh, that's it for me. Good job, man. Bam. Two days later. I feel like I should address uh, some comments that we've been getting in the comment section about Mason. And a few of you guys have noticed that Mason hasn't been riding, he hasn't been in the video. So I feel like it is about time that we kind of just come clean and uh, share with you that we sold him. 
I'm just kidding. Uh, he's lost. <laughs> uh, he's lost, we can't find him, but uh, the search continues and we're hopeful. I'm just kidding, not funny. All right, so Mason, uh, yeah, he's been taking a break from riding. He hasn't been um, riding dirt bikes recently. So let me uh, explain why. Like Mason doesn't really fit in with Luke and Lillian all the time. Like he is not as close in age or maturity or focus. And uh, Lillian and Luke would ride every single day if we could. They want to train, they want to get better. That's what they're into. We don't ride every single day, but they would if, if we could. Mason wants to ride a little bit, but not all the time. I guess I would, um, I'd compare it to a kid that likes to go to the park with his friends and play football. He likes playing football, but that doesn't mean that he wants to go run sprints and like do drills and uh, get yelled at, at it by a coach and stuff. So Mason just wants to have fun. And the last two rides for him weren't that great. So we went to Spider, this was a few weeks ago. We went to Spider, he was doing pretty good, and then he had a pretty bad crash. We didn't post it, we didn't show it, but he had a pretty good get off and didn't want to go back to Spider. Uh, then, we're in a car wash by the way, if you guys can't tell. Then he went to Orlando and kind of struggled in the sand, didn't really have a good time. It's a rough track, it's difficult even for um, 85 sometimes. So, so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna give him a break and he'll enjoy it more if he has a little bit of a break. I love this car wash. It's like 20 bucks a month for a membership. You get unlimited washes, free vacuuming, and then uh, like cleaner too. I think as a dad, I'm pretty good about recognizing my kids' strengths and weaknesses and knowing where their potential lies. For Mason, I, it doesn't matter how hard we push him, he's not gonna be winning amateur titles anytime soon. So like, what's the point? Why push him? His potential lies in uh, being able to live a life full of riding dirt bikes or action sports or being active or whatever he wants to do. Like, I, I think he has the potential where he could literally make a career out of riding bikes for fun if he wants to. So why push him and risk losing all that potential? And who knows, he's 10, he's 10 right now. He's got a short attention span and he's 10, but a lot can change from 10 to 12 or 13. I mean, maybe in two years, maybe when he gets on an 85, he's like, okay, dad, I wanna focus, I wanna train, I wanna see how good I can get. Then I'll be cool with that and we'll go from there. Okay, Mason, stop playing with the lighters. Okay, come here. This side, <laughs> come over here. Okay, check it out, Mason. I was working on the highlight video, the motocross video of 2021, and I didn't go through all the footage, but I went through a bunch of footage of you racing last year. Guess what I noticed? I noticed a pattern. Mm -hmm. You had a unreal amount of last second passes in your races. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize it, but okay. So you passed somebody on the last turn at Woodland three times, three different races, three different people you passed on the last turn. You pass somebody at uh, Arena Cross, Monroe Arena Cross, you pass somebody on the last turn. You pass somebody on the last jump in Salt Lake City. And um, let's see, what else? Oh, the whoops. The whoops at Washougal, you pass somebody in the whoops at the last second. Uh, and at uh, PIR, you pass somebody else um, at the last turn, which is hard to do because it's like a 90 degree turn. So I might even be forgetting some, but good job, dude. We should just have one lap races. If it was just one lap, you would just pass everybody. How do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Let me uh, move this real quick. This will be our stand. So Mason, you've kind of taken a little bit of a break from riding. What do you think? Do you want to start riding again or? Sure. <laughs> sure? Did it make you want to ride more or like you're just like whatever? Did what? Did taking a break from riding make you want to ride more? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So I say we go somewhere next time we ride, we go somewhere that you're gonna love, somewhere that you really enjoyed. Let's go back to Okie Finoki. Yeah. You wanna go ride there? Sure. Are you excited? All right, Mason. 
Okay, so uh, we're gonna go in the next time we go riding, we're gonna go to Okie Finoki. Mason's gonna ride for the first time in a few weeks. He's gonna go tear it up and show your brother and sister what's up, all right? All right. Anything else you wanna say? No. Okay. Man, a few words. Also, real quick, guys, I feel like I should add this. I just wanna say thank you and I appreciate all of the support and encouragement that I got after posting the last video about our videos getting demonetized. Uh, I was actually really hesitant to post that video. I didn't wanna come across as complaining or anything, but uh, people have been really supportive and I appreciate that. Update, so what I decided I'm gonna do for right now, I am gonna start another channel and I'm gonna experiment and I'm gonna put older content that got demonetized on that channel or versions versions of old videos that got uh, demonetized. I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna see if those get demonetized too. And that way I'm not investing time in uh, making new videos, being unsure if they're gonna, if they're gonna get demonetized or not. So um, if you guys see another channel with our videos on there, just know they're not like pirated and um, don't like report it. It's just us, <laughs> we're just experimenting. So again, guys, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. It means a lot that you guys are so interested in our success. I'm blown away. We seriously have the best YouTube viewers ever. I'm not even joking, seriously. Like probably like, not everybody, but like 90% of you guys are seriously the best YouTube viewers ever.